Okay, today we are going to have a look at integration. How do we do integration? And what is actually integration? If you remember, differentiation, integration is completely opposite function of the differentiation. In differentiation, we split the things into many, many, many parts. In integration, we add all these tiny, teeny parts into one. Integration helps us to find the area under the curve from that point to that point. Now, remember from point A to B, when we find the area under the curve, the area on the top of the curve is positive. Area at the bottom of the curve, uh, bottom of x axis, <coughs> is going to be negative. If this is negative and positive area, if you try to find the area from all the way from A to B, you would get incorrect answer. We need to split that into this blue area, this yellow area, and this blue area, and then add them together. Some curves, which are like that, let's say it's f of x is a function of x, they got an equation, and equations give you that curve. Now, this is all up, up um, on the positive y-axis, so we can just find that straight away. Now, these are some rules for integration. You can go back to these rules. I'm just going to show you like how what are, is the main rule for the integration so for example if we have y equals to x to the power n yeah the rule is when you integrate we just let's say I want to integrate so you're going to do integrate uh, y dx uh, actually I make it easy for you let's imagine I want to integrate this thing yes the question is integrate so then I, I'm gonna do that this is the symbol for integration this is the whole symbol for integration. And the thing that I'm trying to integrate, I will put that in the middle. So this is the thing I'm trying to integrate. I put in the middle. When you integrate, the rule states you add the power by 1. In differentiation, we subtract. And then we divide with the same power, n plus 1. Now, if you remember, when we differentiate, there is a thing called constant. When the, we differentiate a constant, like 8, it becomes 0. So here, a constant appears, C. But we don't know the value of this constant. This constant can be any real number, positive, negative. It can be 0 as well. It can be any number. This constant, this is known as constant of integration. This will appear. Okay, so that's the first one. Now, so there are some questions here. You can you can have a look at that one. I'm just going to do a similar question so you can actually get an idea. Now, let's say if I got the integration, the question is integrate. So let's say I want to integrate x to the power um, <coughs> minus 7 exactly same first you put that thing here and write down x minus 7 in that integration sign now then according to the law minus 7 plus 1 divided by minus 7 plus 1 plus a c the c will appear every time if i solve that one that would become a x to the power minus c or uh, minus x over minus six plus c you can leave it like that or you want to do one more step which is minus x to the minus six over a six plus c yeah 
or if you like you can write it this way minus 1 6 x to the 6 plus c yeah there are multiple ways of writing it down this is like this is minus 6 when I move it down it becomes a positive 6 okay let's say we got x cube x cube root we want to integrate it's same as x to the power one third so if i want to integrate this thing how i'm going to do that exactly same method x one over three plus one divided by one over three plus one and do not forget the plus c the constant of integration if you do not put constant of integration um, you will lose marks so that becomes how much 4 over 3 divided by 4 over 3 which will become equal to x 4 over 3 divided by this 3 will jump all the way up and this is your answer Now let's say we want um, to do a decimal if it's x to the power of minus 1.8 and you want to integrate to integrate you're going to put this thing here and this thing now then uh, we follow the principle of integration that will become a x minus 1.8 plus 1 divided by 1.8 plus 1 do not forget the C that will give you X minus 0 0.8 divided by or oh, these are negative there as well divided by minus 0 0.8 yeah, plus C you can write it down as because this is a negative coefficient you can move it down so 0 0.8 x to the power 0 0.8 because I move the coefficient down it becomes positive but what about the negative that was here this negative this negative I can just move move here and this is your answer you can convert 0 0.8 into fraction but there are no extra marks for doing that okay now you can try these questions question one part a all the way to the l please so if you look at this 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 question l um, what you need to do is you need to move this thing up so that becomes x to the power minus 0 0.71 same as that one when you move it up it will become a x to the power minus one third and this will become x to the power minus three and then you integrate so that will be much easier so if you try doing that one please okay i know it says that differentiate but i like you to integrate these functions yeah so ignore the differentiate part so you need to integrate this function i like you to integrate these one as well very similar concept so i want you to integrate these one as well find the integral of this system as well please now how do we integrate uh, the cosine the trig functions and the e to the minus x um, how do we integrate these ones the way we integrate for example um, when we now going back to differentiation now let's say this is the one I'm doing differentiation let's say if I got the cos 5x 
and I want to differentiate it, which is opposite to integration. If you remember, differentiation of a cos was minus sine 5x. And then we multiply by the integral, uh, for, sorry, by the differential of this one. And then we multiply by the, which will give you the answer minus sine 5x times by 5. Yeah. Integration is opposite. Let me just rub this one. So now, integration is opposite. So if I want to do the integration <coughs> of uh, cos 5x dx. Now, before you do that one, make sure you have a look at these integral charts. So in cos, the answer is positive sign. The sign, the in integral is the negative cos, yeah? So the way we do is cos, integral of cos is a positive sign, 5x. And then we divide by the integral of the box. And obviously, we need to put the plus C here. So that will become a sine 5x over 5 plus C. And that will be your answer. Okay. Now, the next one is if we got the integration of e to the 5x, uh, let's put 7x, or let's put minus 5x, uh, minus 3x, let's do minus 3x. I want to integrate this thing. To do integration of that one, because differentiation of e to the minus 3x is e to the minus 3x and the differentiation of the 3x on the top if we differentiate if we integrate it's going to be e to the minus 3x divided by the differential of this minus 3x do not forget the c so the answer will be e to the minus 3x over minus 3. So I rather writing minus 3 here, I can just put a minus here and the 3 at the bottom. Plus a c. This is going to be your answer. If you see this 1 over x, that's, that's a different story. Try using your method and then there will be a stage where you might get stuck. I'm just going to do this one, 1 over x as well, uh, just to show you. I will use both methods to see what, how it works and not. So let's say I want to integrate 1 over x. Now 1 over x is a unique case because let's follow my old method. Uh, because I said if that's x, bring it on the top, so that becomes a x to the power minus 1, yeah? First do that way. And now, you just do x minus 1 plus 1, minus 1 plus 1 plus c. But now if you have a look here, that becomes a x to the 0 divided by a 0 plus c. Now this thing is not possible. So this is incorrect method. The correct method is, it's not incorrect method, but we got stuck. As a mathematician, we got stuck. It's not going to work. So we have a different formula for 1 over x. The integration of 1 over x is ln of x plus c. So this is the right way of doing it. 